24 October 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Baptada Madhupan Sweet children you have found the unique master follow his shrimat and you will become double crowned deities question what is the effort do you make so that you never get tired of studying answer keep your stage equanimous in the praise and definition the regard and disregard that happens in the study consider all of that to be a game and you will never get tired krishna has been defam the most people have accused him of so many things and yet they also worship such a krishna therefore taking insult is not a new thing so never get tired of studying continue to study for as long as the father teaches you song o dweller of the forest your name is the support of my life om shanti who said this who spoke and to whom on your children who are called gopis and gopis know this so they remembered their father gopi vallabh no one apart from the supreme father the supreme soul can be such a father so they remembered those who have been here and gone they are later praised for example christ came but after establishing the christian religion he didn't go away anywhere he definitely had to sustain it he had to take rebirth however every year people celebrate the birthdays of those who live after establishing their religion they are remembered on the path of devotion in the same way people celebrate the festival of dashera nowadays it is celebrated so it must definitely be something auspicious when someone lives after doing something good his festival is celebrated even the festival of deepmala is celebrated krishna's birthday is also celebrated they celebrate the festivals of those who have been and gone the people of bharat don't know why the festivals of rakhi etc are celebrated what happened they know that christ and buddha came to establish their religions at this time all are the devilish community whereas you are the godly community the father of ram has now come and is making you divine and elevated or it can be said that the supreme father has come and is having heaven in our prayer that is he is laying the foundation for it it can also be called the opening ceremony the elevated emperors and empresses in bharat have been and come the golden age deities were double crowned they had crowns of purity and also crowns studded with jewels vicious kings only have crowns studded with jewels those with single crowns worship those with double crowns however never knows when they came and left or how they received their kingdom lakshmi and narayan were such elevated double crown deities the father sits here and explains who made them so elevated people celebrate the shara you know that something must have happened that caused people to celebrate the shara and burn an effigy of ravan however he is not something that will be burned his kingdom is now coming to an end until the kingdom of ram is established the correct kingdom has to continue people continue to celebrate the ceremony of when the kingdom of ravan ended and the kingdom of ram was established they burn an effigy of ravan which proves that this truly is the corrupt devilish kingdom there are also grades of corruption corruption begins in the copper age at first there are two degrees of corruption then four degrees 
then 8 degrees, then 10 degrees and having gradually increased, it has now become 16 degrees of corruption. Now to change those who are 16 degrees corrupt to 16 degrees elevated is the task of the one father alone. The father explains, at this time, it is the kingdom of Ravan. The kingdom of Ram was the elevated kingdom that has now become corrupt. The elevated Bharat is called heaven. That same kingdom has now become corrupt. The father says, I have now come to make the corrupt kingdom into an elevated kingdom. There are the Yadava and the Kaurava clans. There are innumerable religions in the Yadava clan. Those who belong to the elevated deity religion have become corrupt in their religion and their actions. The father now teaches them how to perform elevated actions. They have been celebrating festivals on the path of devotion. God definitely came. It is a matter of 5000 years. The father came and made the corrupt beings elevated. It is the father's task alone to make the whole world elevated. Then he sends you down from above to sustain it. Go and sustain the deity religion that you established. It isn't that anyone says this. It happens automatically according to the drama. When you become elevated, even the world will become Satapradhan and elevated. Now even the five elements are Tamapradhan. There is so much upheaval and people are so unhappy. Damage costing millions is caused. In the golden age, there won't be any of these calamities. Calamities take place in hell. Even the calamities are at first only 2 degrees, whereas they have now become 16 degrees. All of these things have to be explained in detail. They are very easy, but people are unable to understand them. Or explain to others. So this burning of Ravan began in the Copper Age. You cannot say that it started 5000 years ago. When the path of devotion begins, all of these calamities also begin. You now know how the kingdom of Ravan is destroyed and how the kingdom of Ram is established. People don't know what Ravan is. The father says there wasn't anything such as Lanka. There is no Lanka in the Golden Age. There are very few people there that live by the banks of the river Jamuna. In Ajmer, they show a model of paradise, but they don't understand it. It doesn't take long to build golden palaces there. They use machinery to melt gold quickly and make tiles, etc. You children know that the science through which destruction takes place will be useful to you later on. They make aeroplanes, etc. Now for great happiness. But they will also carry out destruction with them. So these aeroplanes are for sorrow as well as happiness. That is temporary happiness. All of those things have been invented in the last hundred years. So, so much has happened in the last hundred years. So just think, after destruction takes place, all of these things will be created in such a short time in the new world. There the golden palaces are built very quickly. In Bharat, so many palaces are studded with the gold and silver. They have big royal courts there. Royal people would meet there. They would not be called Pandava gathering. They would be called gatherings of the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. All the prince and princesses also go and sit there. When it was the British government, there used to be the great royal court gatherings of prince, princesses and maharajas. All the kings would be sitting there wearing their crowns. When Baba used to go to Nepal, they would hold a gathering of the Rana men's king family. Kings with brick crowns would sit there. They were called emperors and empresses and they were all number wise. The queens wouldn't sit there. They renamed behind curtains. They sat with a lot of 
granure. We used to say that that was the Pandava government. They called themselves the Santa dynasty. They used to exist here too. However, they had single crowns because it was before them that there were those with double crowns. They have written so many things about Krishna. He abducted so and so and did such and such. However, there was nothing like that. People continued to celebrate the festivals of things that took place in the past. They also celebrate the festival of when the kingdom of Ravan ended and the kingdom of Ram was established. They celebrate it every year. So this proves that the devilish kingdom of Ravan also existed 5000 years ago. The father came and inspired the destruction of the kingdom of Ravan. That same Mahabharat war is just ahead. However, there is no such thing as Ravan. They show Mandodari as the wife of Ravan, but they don't show her with ten heads. They show Ravan with ten heads. They show Vishnu with four arms, two arms of Lakshmi and two arms of Narayan. They show Ravan with ten heads, five vices of Hayes and five vices of Mandodari. They have also shown the significance of the four-armed image of Vishnu. They also worship Mahalakshmi. They never show Mahalakshmi with two arms. At Deepmala, they invoked Lakshmi. Why? Did Narayan commit a crime? After all, Lakshmi receives her wealth from Narayan anyway. She is a half-partner. So what crime did Narayan commit? In fact, wealth is not received from Lakshmi. Wealth is received from Jagadamba. You know that Jagadamba then becomes Lakshmi. So they have separated the two of them. They ask Jagadamba for everything. If they have any sorrow, if their son dies, they pray to Jagadamba, protect us, give me a child, remove this illness of mine. They have many such desires. They go to Lakshmi and only place one desire in front of her and that is for wealth. That's all. Jagadamba is the one who fulfills all your desires. She is the one who makes you wealthy. At this time, all your desires are being fulfilled. They don't give wealth. They simply teach you through which from nothing you become great. Then, when you became Lakshmi, you became wealthy. At this time, you have the power to fulfill all desires. Jagdamba gives donations. Lakshmi does not give donations. Donations are not given there. There is no starvation there. No one is poverty stricken there. Ravan doesn't exist in the golden age. Here they burn Ravan. After the Shara, they celebrate Deep Mala. They celebrate in happiness. The kingdom of Ravan has been destroyed and the kingdom of Ram is established and so there would be happiness. There is light in every home. Your souls receive enlightenment. The things that exist at the confluence age do not exist in the golden age. You are Trikal Darshi and experience the reward there. There you will have forgotten all of this knowledge. At the confluence age, there is establishment and destruction. Once establishment has taken place, that's it. Only you know about all of these festivals. Ignorant people don't understand anything. They make a lot out of nothing. You can say in a practical way that those things do not exist in the golden age. The story of Narada is also mentioned in the scriptures. When you are asked, you reply, Baba, I will marry either Lakshmi or Narayan. So the father says, check yourselves to see that you don't have any vices. If you have anger, etc., how would you be able to marry them? Yes, no one has yet become perfect. But you do have to become that. You have to chase away those evil spirits because only then will you be able to claim a status. You have found the unique master. The father is full of all virtues. 
He is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss, and so he also makes those who come and become his children full of all virtues and double crowned deities. You are truly becoming that. Deities have both crowns. You have come here to claim your inheritance from the Father. You have to claim your inheritance. You have to study. Main points content to emerge. If you don't study, how would you be able to explain to others? The drama is repeating identically. You understand this knowledge at this time and it will then disappear. The Lanka etc. that they show doesn't really exist. One was Raven born. It is written that the deities go under the path of sin in the copper age and that they begin to become vicious. Devotion was at first unadulterated and it then became adulterated. People have now begun to have themselves worship. The father says, I come to carry out the establishment of an elevated world and destruction of the corrupt world. Shortly, establishment would be carried out first and then destruction. This is my part every cycle. It takes time to make it elevated from corrupt. You have to study for as long as the father teaches you. However much, those who studied in the previous cycle studied, they will study the same now. While moving along, many children say, that's it, I'm not able to continue anymore. Oh, there will be praise and defamation, regard and disregard. Why do you stop studying? Because of that, it was Krishna who was defamed the most. He was accused of so many things. So. Why do people then worship such a Krishna? In fact, it is this one, means Brahma, who takes all the insults at this time. He was stiffened throughout the whole of the sin. However, those people were unable to do anything. All of this is a game. It is nothing new. He took insults in the previous cycle too. He crossed the river. You came away from the shores of Sindh to this side. It wasn't Krishna but the Stada who used to come and go. You know that you are now claiming the kingdom and that you will then lose it. Thus too is again. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and quit morning from the mother, the father, Bhattada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, you have to become a Kamdhenu, means Jagadamba, the one who fulfills everyone's desires. Continue to donate. Second point, Keep your stage in equanimity, in praise and defamation. While all of that happens, you mustn't stop studying. Consider all of it to be a game and overcome it. Blessing. May you become an intense form of fire and give the experience of spirituality through your form of Shakti, men's power. Explanation. Until now, the father has attracted everyone in the form of the flame. The father's duty has been taking place and the children's duty has been encountered. However, when you become stable in your form of power, the souls who come into contact with you will experience your spirituality. Those who say, this is good, this is good, will be inspired to become good when you all collectively become intense forms of fire and lighthouses. When the stage of a master almighty authority is visible in your stage, everyone will continue to circle around you like moths. Slogan: Those who burn their physical senses and the fire of yoga became completely pure. Om. Shanti.